of Education for PTA Global. Welcome to Coach's Corner, where our segment here is on gaining clients. So the summer months are approaching, right? It's almost June. Uh, and so I remember as a personal trainer, you're feeling like, man, you know, I'm excited because I got some vacay planned, but a lot of my other clients had vacay planned as well, right? And some of that you just can't offset. You still got to make money through the summer. And so it was time to add a few clients. The other thing that I realized is that um, my clients usually had kids and those kids were now out of school, right? So that changed the dynamic a little bit for me as a personal trainer and being able to continue to build my business and be able to do some things a little differently in the summer months than maybe I did in February, March, or September, October. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about those and walk through these together. So when we talk about gaining clients, again, we'll, we have our three main buckets from your gym, from your existing clients, right? And then from your community. We're going to zero in today on from your clients. So this is your existing clientele base that we're trying to leverage them as a resource to see maybe can they get other people involved or maybe can we do things a little differently for them um, to really pique interest. Okay, so again, we're always looking for ways to add leads to the funnel, always looking for ways to continuously build our business. Okay, you're always building your business, no matter if it's January, no matter if it's June. So a couple of things to consider in the seasonality, right? June, July, August, um, moms with kids, you know, kids are typically out of school. And so now start thinking about sports performance. And so this could be a thing where you invite you know, uh, mom and her kid to have like a fun, cool partner session together, right? Create some bonding and it gives you an opportunity to get to know um, her, you know, uh, you know, teenager or, you know, whoever that is to, to you know, build some rapport. Um, again, if the kid's probably two, probably doesn't make sense or assuming that the kid is maybe 10 and over and your, your gym that you work at may have recommendations where it's 12 and over. Our rules were typically 12 and over. Um, but again, now starting to think about how you can leverage sports performance to really make it a lot of fun, make it very exciting um, for you know youth training sports. But again, learning from a new lear learning a new skill set so that you can actually uh, deliver an amazing experience uh, for uh, your know, mom's kiddo, right? Partner training, right? So great opportunity to invite. You know, sometimes you have. Um, clients that their kids are in college, right? So now you can uh, invite like the kid and the mom to, to do some kind of cool partner training, uh, bringing someone else involved and usually charge a little bit more for that, whether you're doubling up. Uh, sometimes we would charge, you know, each a session, but then we'd give them extra time within that hour. Um, it, it, again, completely up to you or maybe, uh, you know, maybe the spouse has been kind of on the fence for a while and now this is a great opportunity to really uh, encourage your client to invite their spouse to some partner training, right? Doing some things a little different for the summer. It's also a great way to get the entire family involved since the entire family is going to be going on vacation. Uh, so thinking about ways creatively to train outside the gym. Again, your gym may have parameters and how you can uh, bring clients outside and liabilities and things like that. So just definitely check with, you know, whoever your supervisor is on that, but think outside of the box. Um, also for your existing clientele to keep them engaged and also help them to engage other people, right? Whether it be neighbors, friends, family in a summer challenge, a summer weight loss challenge. It can be on, you know, how many times they train within a month. It can be total body fat lost. It can be, uh, you know, some sort of sports specific challenge, whatever. But thinking about ways to leverage the seasonality where people might typically just want to take some time off, vacay, take three months off and really add back in the weight that they worked hard the first five or six months to, to lose of the year, right? Think creatively, think outside the box and encourage you to, again, play. Like literally, there was a, uh, a session uh, that we did where it was water balloons, right? We went outside at the end of a big meeting, we did a group workout and then we did a whole water balloon right thing we're throwing water balloons and we're just it's july i live in texas and so it's super hot so it was awesome everybody loved it it was a fun fun thing and i guarantee you at the uh, dinner table and uh you know as they're out with friends at the movies right that's what they're talking about right you would never believe what i did today 
water balloon fight with a bunch of you know my trainer and a bunch of the other uh, clients that he's changed in their lives and so think about how you can leverage that for marketing to also gain new clients that want to receive that same fun experience right that you're taking your clients through in the summer that uh, please definitely reach out Facebook Instagram YouTube let us know your thoughts um, would love to hear how you are integrating some fun, some outside of the box thinking to really help continue to build your business in the summer where other people may be losing their business, right? You're continuing to gain, train, and retain your clients better than everybody else. So with that, Israel Allen signing off. We'll see you for the next Coach's Corner.